Hello, everybody. So today, I'm gonna be doing a ASMR. It's not gonna be anything too professional. It's gonna be working. I'm in my pajamas because it's four o'clock in the morning, and I enter and in the U.S. So we're making Peter. Actually, I'm taking Peter's but I'm really using this one because it's my no, it's cool one. So let's do it. Let's get into this. Oh, hi. <laughs> so sorry. Just oh, oh man, sorry. Okay, so um are you here for any particular stuff? Like what are you here for? Oh, you would like a job for the manager's degree. Well see I am the OC here. Let me just check on your paperwork and your quality and your type of working in these questions okay sorry the for the background music can you turn it down before i'm sorry here you go You have a really good degree, but instead of going to the manager's degree, I would like for you to go to like the smaller degrees first, the smaller positions, and then add up to more positions, okay? Because I'm actually in the man manager's position right now, moving up to OC of the company. I'm gonna move up, so let me just get you checked in. Oh, hey babe. Actually, guys, this is just me. It's not real. The kiss is not real. I don't have anybody here. Because when I look, I have nobody on my room. So sorry. So I'm so sorry for the interruption. So yeah, you're gonna move up to the company. You're gonna move to the position in library commands, uh, 214, 16, 19. So you're gonna move up to room 2014. Uh, your paperwork says room not really fit to be a manager yet. You have some of the qualities, but not all of them we're looking for, so thank you. You got the job though, not the position and the manager though. So. If you would like to to complain to my company, you can. But I am almost the obsessed, so you're gonna complain to me. This is not good. <gasps> Hi. Hi. Sorry for interrupting, I didn't want to intrude. Huh? What? Uh, can you say that one more time, please? Stop. Can you say that one more time, please? Sorry. You're not fit 
for the position. Do you want to get fired from your position? He's going to fire you right away. Is this where you want to go in our company? Hmm? No, so stop. <gasps> Hi, ma'am. Hi, boss. What? He's a robber? <laughs> You're fired. Next client, please. Sorry, I'm late for work again. <laughs> I was doing some works. With my girl. <laughs> I can't be fired. I can't be fired from the job. No. I'm not being fired. smart one. Hey. <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm late. <laughs> Excuse her. <laughs> I'm so sorry you could fire me because I play. <gasps> you won't fire me? Thank you so much. <sighs> okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> He doesn't ever get yelled at. Hi, cutie. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> Fine, I'll dress correctly. Sorry. My behavior. Ma'am, I'll, I'll figure this out right away. Sorry, ma'am, for being late again. I brought the report you told me to make. This is not the report. I thought you was wanted me to bring in a a child's book. About God. 16 pages of classes. I'm a teacher. I can't be fired. I love the kids. I'm so sorry. Excuses. Hey, you're going to let me keep my job? Why? I thought you said I, I wanted me fired. Wait, you want me to keep my job because you like me here? Thank you so much. This is me. 
So I have to go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom. Everybody stared at her because they thought that she was basically being kidnapped by the company. She gets what she wants, the grandest girl ever, and also she's rich, um, not kind. You did not get me a limo, Dad. I walked here. <sighs> I'm so happy that I'm lucky, but why didn't you take me? This is my Kiki and my, my stuffed toys and stuff. So this is kind of my doll. Her name, she's Anna. She kind of looks like Ariel, but she's actually not Ariel. She's actually Anna. And you guys are probably like, if she's not Anna, then why is her hair like that? No. Her hair actually is color color coded so what happens to it if she changes the hair her hair color she could be like she could turn her hair could like fall off and stuff so that's why i can't dye it i can't brush it i can't do much with her hair all i can do is put it up i can't We'll do much with her hair. Like I'm saying, like I'm saying right now, I can't do much with her hair. I'm just gonna place her down. The rich girl came back after the maid got the daughter. <sighs> Why did the rich girl yelling? A door. What out kind of outfit is this for my sister? Wow. I can't believe you. That I trusted you as a father and lived with you? Oh, wow, I really know how to be an girl because I've been it for most of my life, you idiot. You can call me an idiot twice. If you want to say it, I have been a rich girl for most of my life. My parents haven't been normal. I haven't been normal. I've been, I thought I was going to be poor, but instead I grew up in a happy life. Being rich is my thing now. Hmm? Oh. Maybe it's just that. You're too ugly to ever be rich. 
I mean, maybe that's why nobody likes you as a father. I mean, like, I couldn't, actually, I couldn't, I would feel bad for whoever is your daughter, I mean. Oh, wait. I'm your daughter. I feel bad for myself. See, I have to live with the part I like when I'm over here with my brand new daughter. She wants to sing and show you a dance. Summer at the high school when we first met. I broke up at a prom queen and said we Trying to tell you what I knew. But it wasn't gonna let me stop you now. So I love you for being me and I am the sweetest girl. So I'm telling you, Father, 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 I love being your daughter. I'm sad that I have her, and she's so annoying. Why do you have to be like this, Jessica? Maybe it's because Dad didn't even want you to be here anymore. He said you were a mistake six years ago. And what is he calling me now? A mistake. Because I'm rich. What are you? I'm an adult with my own family in life. You're my kid. You're not even his kid, so I don't know why you were calling him your father. I don't want to go home to Dad. You're going home to your Dad. This is only rich version, guys. This is actually not how I would treat my real children. So, even though I don't even have real children, disclaimer. Six years later. Buddy? Who are you? What do you mean? I'm not your honey, I'm not any of that. What do you want? She's screaming help. She's not. That was a while ago, Papa. Papa? Who are you calling Papa? You don't remember. I do. You're literally 16. Remember? What do I not remember? He's your Papa. You. <laughs> You brought my dad into this? No, believe me. The worst daughter ever. Who brought you this dress, Papa? Who made you rich, Mama? Who told you to never tell people my secret? Papa. What? Papa told me to never tell you your secret because he said that you'll be really mad at him and you'll be really mad at me too. Honey, that's not true. <laughs> it is true, Dad. Thank you. I want you to go home. 
Go home, Dad. Have fun with your, with your brother. Go to club. Go to a clothing shop. Buy a suit and whatever. And then go to the club. Singing up the whole time, Mom? Yeah, I thought I was singing it. Yeah. No. My soul was trapped in a, a rich body and I didn't want to be in that body anymore. I escaped from it. How? I want just tell me, Mom. How did you escape from her?